All right, thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Samira Raja, and I'm a sophomore in high school. And uh, I was at the mall the other day. There was a middle-aged man who collapsed suddenly on the ground, and uh, everyone was basically alarmed and panicked. Now, I'm in the third year of a medical program at my school, so we, uh, we train for these types of situations. I remembered one thing that my teacher always told me, you have to act quickly in a medical emergency because seconds can save lives. So immediately someone called for a doctor and another person called for 911. However, uh, no, no doctor ever came or showed up and the 911 operator had to walk through the slow process of checking for their pulse and respiration. EMS eventually arrived on the scene and the man was okay and it was all fine. However, that got me thinking out of everyone in the mall, there had to be some healthcare worker and someone who knew what to do. And that's when I realized that I can do something about it. So seconds can save lives in these situations. And my product works by pinging nearby healthcare professionals of a medical emergency. So the way my product works is as soon as a 911 call is placed, the dispatcher verifies that a medical emergency is taking place in a public setting and all healthcare workers registered for this service within a one mile radius will receive an alert on their phones uh, that will guide them um, with the map to the fastest route of the medical emergency. Now, here's some facts. In the United States, it takes an average of eight minutes for EMS to arrive onto a scene since the 911 call is placed. This can range up to 14 minutes in some cities. Now, for every uh, one minute that a person experiencing cardiac arrest uh, does not get treated, uh, they lose 10% uh, off of their chance of survival. So eight minutes for EMS to arrive, they only have like a 20% chance of survival. So that's, it's no wonder and it's very sad that 500,000 people in the United States are killed by cardiac arrest. So I knew that seconds could save lives and we have to do something about it. All right, now moving back, everyone within a one mile radius will have a response, uh, sorry, faster response time than EMS. So they will, um, they can, they have more time to save their life. Now, once EMS does arrive on the scene, they take the, they take the scene into their control and, and evaluate the patient. In a medical emergency, seconds matter. And by allowing nearby healthcare professionals to help treat patients, my product will save seconds and seconds saves lives. Thank you. Hey, Samir, you nailed it. Good job. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, no, thank you, man. That was great. You, you, you brought it. Devin? Wow, Samir. Um, just hearing about how um, serious this need is um, and hearing, you know, just your example of um, having seen this happen in, you know, in real life was really powerful as part of your pitch to pull me in um, as a listener, as a potential investor, as a potential consumer of this product. Um, and so I wanted to just say how impressive that was. Um, the, the way you presented that idea was extremely strong. Um, one thing I was thinking about in terms of, um, you know, this product and pinging healthcare workers um, is would there be a way to sort of indicate through the app or through whatever platform um, what their specific license is? So for example, if it's an EMS worker versus a, a licensed nurse or versus someone who's a medical doctor, is there a way to sort of like um, know what each person's um, kind of medical background is as part of the screening process? Okay, that's a great question, Devin. And here's the answer. It's, there's no need basically to have any sort of uh, verification process. This is an information only app. It transfers information that there's a medical emergency happening here. It's meant for medical professionals and healthcare workers to register. However, they were not gonna have any preventative measures to block any average citizen, even though, you know, that's not what it's meant for, but there's no need to have a verification. Okay, um, thank you for clarifying that. And then um, is there going to be a cost at all to use the service um, or to register on the service? Or is this completely, because it's information only, um, kind of a free access type situation? Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a, a free app. Anyone can download it. Okay. Thank you so much, Samir. I'm very interested to, to hear what the other panelists' uh, thoughts are around this. This is such a, an innovative idea. 
Um, and so I'm, I'm really just blown away at your creativity and thinking through something like this. So, uh, you know, bravo to you. Hi, Samir, that was fantastic. Uh, it was a great presentation. You are very professional. This is very thought out. You really, it sounds like you really considered the, the multiple aspects of this. Um, and we can use certainly this product, this, this idea, certainly in our lives. Um, my one question would be is, how will you reach out to these people to get them to register for this? How will you find them? All right, so great question, Mark. We're gonna have to uh, market this app, obviously. So by, uh, it's mostly by us word of mouth. I think I can really harness the word of mouth because in the healthcare community, everyone talks to each other. Doctor tells another doctor, we can go to hospitals and advertise this and say, here's an app. You guys are all healthcare workers. Go ahead and download this. Excellent. Um, and would this be something, for instance, if it were not going to be uh, advertised in a hospital, is there a way for how else would other people who have any sort of medical experience be able to find this? Um, say you are a lifeguard in CPR and you're great at CPR and life-saving techniques. Um, how else will you be able to reach out to people? Yeah, there's multiple ways we can go to uh, CPR training classes at the end of the class. They can say, now that you're certified here, download this app. Uh, we can, we can, I know marketing is one of the biggest uh, problems. That's why businesses don't succeed. So most of the money will go into marketing and uh, advertisements we can run. Wow, excellent. Um, great answers. I would love to see how this, this, this progresses and how you progress. Um, I love how thoughtful you were about this. So good luck. I think uh, you're on your way. Thank you. Great Mark. presentation. Thank you. Welcome. Wow. That, I'm so impressed with your desire to help people. I love your tagline. Um, how did you come up with uh, mm. Save Seconds and Seconds Saves Lives? Uh, the app Save Seconds. How did you come up with that tagline? So um, as I said, I'm in the third year of a medical class. My teacher always repeats it. Uh, in a medical emergency, you know, you have to be fast because in a lot of, including cardiac arrest, a lot of medical emergencies, the longer you wait, the more likely of uh, death, so. I, I want everyone to have this app. I want my friends, my parents, myself. Have you thought about using your app to educate people about the importance of CPR and first aid training and maybe offering that as a service? Uh, I have not thought about that. That is great. We'll definitely note that. But um, as of now, it's like I said, it's information only. I'm not sure about the idea of including a CPR training inside. Maybe that can be a different one or the same brand, but you know. Yeah, and just, you know, is also like opening it up to other people that may not be medical professionals that know CPR or have been trained um, because of just your tagline, it's, it shows the urgency of it. And so I think it would probably convince people to want to be prepared, right? Like in, in any situation. Um, thank you so much. That was a great presentation. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, Samir, uh, so glad that you were brought us to a close here with our live pitch event. And I really want to see an application for our mentoring and material program, Samir. We'd love to workshop with you over four months on your entrepreneurial mindsets, which are already there. Grow those and then see where we, you know, we can take this idea of yours and move it forward. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Cool.